I'm doing good. And you? I'm doing good, mate. I'm doing good. So, first question I want to ask you is, what got you into boxing? What got me into boxing? Yeah. A couple of things. First of all, 1980s kung fu movies. And second of all, immigration. The troubles and the trials and relations of immigration. And the inspiration of watching Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, and some of those uh, karate kung fu movies back in, back in the day. Okay, mate, so what was your amateur career like? I had a pretty good amateur career. I um, grew up in Star City Boxing Club, which was home to some of the best fighters in the world. Uh, Shannon Briggs, Monty Barrett, Zeb Judah, uh, Travis Sims, Curtis Stevens, Saddam Ali, and the, the list goes on. A lot of guys that didn't turn out to be champions but were incredible amateurs. So I won um, every pretty much uh, every New York City and state tournament. I won the Junior Olympics. I won the Silver Gloves. I won the Metro Party Championships. I was the youngest fighter to win an open class Metro, Metropolitan Championships. I won the under-19 U.S. Nationals. Uh, I won the uh, Golden Gloves, and I got the Sugar Robinson Award as the Outstanding Boxer at the Tournament. I won the Mayor's Cup um, twice, and uh, uh, had a great time uh, competing and meeting so many people that I fought and beat, a couple of I lost to. Uh, but... Um, to be able to form these relationships are, was incredibly significant that it's helping me now. And most importantly, I, I, I loved I loved the sport of boxing since I was a young boy. Okay, mate. So then you went on to have a 35-2-1 professional career. Can you talk me through your professional career? What was that like? Professional career was exciting. It was an uh, incredible experience to fight. My first model was uh, top rank, Bob Arum to fight in Mandalay Bay on the undercard of big HBO televised cards, Oscar de la Hoya, Marco Antonio Barrera, Floyd Mayweather, Vladimir Klitschko. Incredible experience. And from really from the very beginning of my professional career, I was exposed to the highest level of boxing. And, and working with a top boxing promotional company. So that was a uh, great great education for me and something that serves me significantly uh, now. And then I was signed with Lou DiBella and then after that, Square Ring, which was a break off of Don King uh, Productions and uh, for some for Golden Boy and then finally for my own company and uh, I'm doing what I'm doing now. Okay, so what made you start promoting fighters? What made me start promoting fighters is that so initially, after I fought Amir Khan, I wanted to get back in the ring. My promotional contract was up, and I couldn't find the right the right fit, the right the right promoter that I felt comfortable with. And I said to myself, "I'm pretty popular in New York City, and uh, let's see if I can if I can do it myself." So I made a decision, and from from my decision to to the fight night was about five and a half weeks, and it turned out to be a sold out event. And then I saw that there were so many talented fighters that, in my opinion, at that time had world class potential but um, weren't signed to a big promoter. And I was thinking to myself, how do these guys independent? One of the guys, the first guy I signed was Jarrell Big Baby Miller. And to me, he was the best American heavyweight. Obviously, we got, to, almost got to the finish line when he had a chance to fight Anthony Joshua, but uh, that fight didn't happen. And uh, he just, going through his trials and tribulations, he just had a big win on Saturday over Lucas Brown and hopefully is on his way back now to the heavyweight world title. Yeah, I saw that by the weekend. What did you think about it? I think it was great. I think Jarrell showed that he can, again, perform at a high level and he be the he former heavyweight ch champion of the world. Looked good. Still has some work to do. Has Still has some weight to take off. But uh, but he's moving in the right direction and, and that was a significant one. 100% mate. So we're just under two weeks away from Anthony Joshua versus Jermaine Franklin. How did that fight come about? Well, I, I, I after the fight, before the decision was announced and uh, we were in the ring with Eddie, I told Eddie, Eddie, Jermaine is the guy for, for Anthony Joshua. 
I thought obviously that he would be declared the winner, and uh, Eddie uh, said, "Yeah, I think he's the, he's a real front runner." And and then Anthony Joshua at the end of the day made the made uh, makes the decision, obviously pending the approval of the zone, and um, I guess from all the different guys he picked uh, he picked Jermaine. I mean, Otto Whalen was also in the running, and I don't know if you've seen recently Jarrell has given us some interviews saying that he wants to fight Anthony Joshua and we do that big fight. So um, I think, you know, I think that uh, Jarrell is adding flavor once again to the heavyweight division and, uh, and, and Jermaine two weeks out from, from the biggest opportunity of his life. And I really believe that he has all the tools to shock the world and score a big upset. Yeah. Cause the full card was shown yesterday and, you know, a massive main event backed up by amazing learner card. So, yeah, that's going to be very exciting. But if Jermaine wins, where do you think he goes from there? Well, if Jermaine wins, he's going to establish himself as an elite heavyweight. When I signed Jermaine about four years ago, I, I told him that he has the potential to be to be one of the top heavyweights in the division. And in his fight with Dillian White, he proved it. And it's very rewarding when you see someone, before they develop to that elite level, go through the stages and end up on a big stage, you don't know what's going to happen. And your your belief in him, and his, obviously his belief in himself, comes to fruition and he performs so well. So I believe that uh, he'll establish himself as uh, maybe the best American heavyweight. I think he and Deontay Wilder will compete for the number one spot because Deontay Wilder lost to Fury and Jermaine would have beaten Anthony Joshua. So I believe that Jermaine established himself as a top heavyweight in the division. Yeah, well, that'll be a very exciting fight. So, do you know what's next for Clarissa Shields? Because obviously you promote Clarissa Shields. What's next for her? Something significant is next for her. We're working on it, and it'll be very exciting. And we'll have uh, news in the very near future. Okay, so I want to congratulate me because I found out just when I was doing my research for this interview that you're an inductee for the New York Boxing Hall of Fame for April 30th. So, so I want to congratulate you. What does that Thank mean you. for someone to have their whole life in boxing and then be in such a massive, massive Hall of Fame. What what does that mean to you? Oh, it's 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 an incredible. I was gonna sneeze. I'm not crying. I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> um, it's an incredible honor. You know, I gave my life to boxing, and to be inducted same year with Zeb Judah and Paul Paulie Paul Malinaji, who we grew up with, is really incredible, and it's. It's a it's a, it's a amazing honor for me to um, to uh, uh, to you know to feel that 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 your boxing achievements are recognized. You know these days I walk to the press conferences and I'm I'm out among boxing people. Many of the new fighters don't know that I fought, and you know they see me. Um, I don't look particularly like a boxer. Uh, so, but I've you know, but I've had a significant boxing career, and certainly to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'm very grateful and thank God that uh, that uh, this happened and that uh, the folks making these decisions recognize my uh, uh, my my uh, uh, contribution to the sport. Okay, so yeah, that's all the questions I have for you, mate. So thanks so much for your time and taking this interview. I really do appreciate that. And we'll do it again sometime. Thanks, man. I wish you all the best. I, I didn't realize that you were so young. But if you love the sport of boxing, stick with it. And... Uh, and good things will happen.